Well, hello guys. Do you uh, notice anything different? We got a gaming chair. We are professionals now. I did not come to play. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Everything's gonna be fine. But yes, guys, hello. I'm so excited about this video today. I'm so excited to just talk to you. Um, I did it. I read My Policeman. If you're not aware, Harry Styles has been cast as the lead role in the movie adaptation of this book, My Policeman by Bethan Roberts. I have so many thoughts, so many things to say. So just to start off, I'm very aware there are two types of people in this world. I know half the people are like, give me all the details, I just want to know it all, give me the story, I don't care, like, I just want to know everything. Um, where other people, they just want like a little taste, they just want an idea of what's going on, um, but they don't want spoilers, they want to be able to watch the movie and be surprised and like be in the moment, which I totally get. So, because I'm so very kind and I love you guys so much, I have actually made two separate videos. Um, if you are the first type of person where you just, you want everything, you want me to tell you the whole story, you can find that video on my book channel. I did a full book review of this, beginning to end, the entire story, all the twists, all the turns, the ending, like, all of it. So, if you want to know the entire story, everything that happens, everything to expect, I will link that video down below, throw it up in the cards right here. Um, honestly, you might want to go watch that first if you're one of those people, and then come back here, because in this video, I'm just going to be giving general information of like what I feel we can expect from this movie, a general idea of what the story is about, and what I think Harry's character will be, and what I think we can expect from him in this role. So, let's get started. So essentially what My Policeman is, is it is a story told from the point of view of two different people. The main character in the story is Tom, that is the character Harry will be playing, and um, we see this story from the point of view of Marion, who is his wife, and Patrick, who is his male lover. The book is set in Brighton, England, and it kind of jumps back and forth. Um, at the present time, it is 1999, but the majority of the book, and what I believe the majority of the movie will be, is flashing back to the late 1950s. Which is so exciting because Harry obviously is in Don't Worry Darling, which is another movie set in the 50s. The fact that we're getting two 50s Harrys back to back is really cool. Um, also interesting because, like I said, the book flashes back and forth between the present and the past. The 90s and the 50s, so in the 90s he's obviously like an old man. So we're going to get to see him, I guess, made up to be an old man. Which is going to be interesting to see. But yeah, guys, right off the bat I just want to say, y'all, this was a heavy heavy story. I think a lot of people are expecting us to just be like a fun, happy-go-lucky, like 50s beachy story with like a little bit of a scandal sprinkled in there because that's what I expected and guys this story to be quite honest is fairly heart-wrenching. This was a time when being gay was literally illegal. It was a crime so as fun and scandalous as the idea of this is, um, it's actually quite terrifying from the point of view of the characters. Um, it's a very scary thing, which is so sad. And this book broke my heart, but in a lot of ways it like really educated me and made me realize how far we've come as a society, as a world, but yeah. So yes, some general information about Tom. In this book, Tom is described as he's a swimmer. Every day he goes swimming at the beach, it's so funny because so he has he's tall he has blonde hair and blue eyes in the story but in so many ways even though he has blonde hair and blue eyes the way that he's described i just he reminds me of harry in so many ways his mannerisms and like obviously i went into this book knowing like tom is harry but still it's so weird like the conversations that he has just like literally his mannerisms his characteristics even just like the way that she describes like his body and stuff I'm just like I can so picture Harry doing this role like to a T like it's gonna be so interesting to see um, Tom in this story he has known Marion most of her life Marion is his little sister's best friend he kind of goes off to the war ends up coming back and he becomes a police officer and he starts to become closer with Marion um, and then 
happens to meet Patrick and this is a, a time in society where there's a lot of pressure to get married at a young age, start a family, especially if you're a profession like a police officer. Being a police officer that's a very like respectable kind of sought after career so it is expected that he should be getting married and should be having a wife. So um, yes, he obviously finds a wife in Marion, but we 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 have another relationship going on on the side over here with our our good friend Patrick, and um, you know it really is unfortunate because this is just one of those situations where no one can truly be happy because everybody's kind of forced to share each other. So yeah, we have Marion who is like head over heels in love with Tom, but Tom is in love with someone else, but is married to her, and this someone else, Patrick, like obviously loves Tom, but Tom is too afraid to not get married, to not conform to society, so everybody's just kind of sharing each other, nobody's truly happy. Um, it's gonna be a rough story to watch, I think parts of it early on are gonna be, you know, very cute, very like happy, but then it just, it's gonna get darker and darker and it's just, it's very sad, it's very heartbreaking. I think it's gonna be really cool to see a, lo a lot of this like story happens at the beach, you can kind of see by the cover, a big part of the storyline is Tom teaching Marion to swim. That's what kind of gets them to grow close together. She doesn't know how to swim and she tells him that very early on and you know, he says he's gonna teach her and so then she gets back from the war and she's like, so when am I getting that swim lesson? So they like every week meet for a swim lesson. So we're gonna see a lot of like Brighton Beach and like, I just keep picturing the scene in the notebook where it's like, if you're a bird, I'm a bird. Like I think we're definitely gonna get those kind of vibes. Um, you know, aside from that, there's also like part of the uh, part of the story, which I don't know how much they'll focus on this, does take place in Venice, like Patrick and Tom take a trip to Venice. So I think that uh, this movie is going to be nuts, dude. Like I'm, I'm so excited for Harry. I think he's going to be great for this role. He's obviously a person that's like very open, isn't afraid, like he's, he's very willing to take on this role and to play this part, but I mean, he's in love with a man in this story. And like things happen, so quite interested to see how all of it goes. I have a feeling that his hair is just pretty much gonna stay the same as it is for Don't Worry Darling. I wonder if they're gonna make him dye it. Like I really hope they won't. I I don't think they will. I feel like they'll just let him keep it brown. But like a big part of this book is that he has like blonde hair and blue eyes. But I we'll just see past it it's fine i'm so interested to see who's gonna play patrick because they have not announced yet we know that emma corinne i think that's how you say her last name um she was in the crown she's playing marion which now reading the story i'm like okay yeah i can totally see her playing her it's she's a school teacher in the story i guess without giving too much away i can say that while we're in the present day what we know is that patrick they're now all older i guess like in their 60s and like late 60s and Patrick has now had a stroke. He's an older man, he's older than Tom, he's 10 years older, he was in his mid 30s when Tom was in his mid 20s during this story. So now Patrick has come to live with Marion and Tom and Marion is taking care of Patrick, but there's like major tension between Tom and Patrick. Tom didn't want Patrick to be there, Tom doesn't want anything to do with Patrick, so like we know when the story begins that clearly like, Something happened, something big had to have happened that caused like this eruption, this tension, them to not have their friendship slash relationship anymore. And I will leave it at that. So, it's so hard to do this without like saying more things, but yeah, I just wanted to give you guys a general overview so you have an idea of what to expect from this movie. I, I wanna know who's gonna play Patrick the second that's announced, I'm gonna scream. I don't know why they haven't announced yet. I'm like, do they not know? Or is that just being kept under wraps? I have no idea, but the movie is supposed to start filming in April, which I'm excited for, but I'm also sad because like, I love knowing that Harry is like in the States. Like, it's kind of nice that he's in California, but he's definitely, I'm sure, going back to Brighton, to England, um, to film this. So yes, it is going to be on Amazon. I assume it'll be at least like a year or so before it comes out. Um, but yeah, this is gonna be a big deal. It's gonna be a very big deal. He's, Harry's just gone for it, you know? He stepped outside of his comfort zone with this acting and now he's like, here for the scandal. But um, yeah, that is pretty much it. 
go watch if you want more details than what I gave you here go watch my video on my book channel tell me all of y'all's thoughts tell me what you're most excited for tell me who you want to play Patrick tell me if you've read the book if you haven't read it I would recommend reading it it's not that long it took me a couple days like 350 pages it's gonna make you sad but it's a good read so that is it this was all over the place it's midnight I'm gonna go to sleep but I love you guys so much thank you for watching and I will talk to you very soon bye